Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing good. Today we have some speed test comparison of AT&T's HSPA Plus network here on the left on the iPhone 4S. That is why it does say 4G, but it's really not 4G. Supposedly it is, but it's really not. But here on the right we do have the iPhone 5 on uh, Verizon, and they, that is on 3G. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I think the reason why my speeds on Verizon's 3G network right now is just because I think the speeds are really low right now because the phone was just activated uh, just a few hours ago and maybe that's the reason why. And uh, LTE, you're supposed to use LTE since it is 4G LTE, but if you don't want to use your data cap too fast, then um, use all your data really fast and I just that's just why they have the LTE switch to turn it on and off. But here on the left you do see HSPA plus speeds by AT&T on three bars and Verizon is on three bars as well. But um, there you guys go. So I do test uh, th two or three times just to make sure it is accurate and the results are the same or within the same range and should be the same. Shouldn't go down. But on AT&T's HSPA plus we did get a 1.66 uh, download speed. Uh, sorry about that shakiness right there, but a um, upload speed of about 0.41, so 1.66 down and 0.41 up. So let's go ahead and enable LTE on Verizon's network here, and let's go ahead and see a comparison to HSPA Plus on AT&T's network. So uh, I do believe LTE is available in my area, has been, I think, hopefully it is. But let's go ahead and see your LTE speeds on two bars. So if you're using LTE and you're wondering why you don't have much good reception or signal or bars, then that's the reason why it is low. But if you uh, turn it off, you'll get most likely full signal depending on the area you're in. But doing a speed test here, we do get 3.93 down and a up speed of about 1.67 and at and on the left so you guys can go in and check that out as well but let's go ahead and test out Verizon's LTE speeds again and as you guys can see since I tested it the second time it did go up uh, pretty good um, well, hopefully I'll get up to 30 megabits per second um, later on and I do believe since uh, I turned on LTE I just turned it on maybe that's the reason why I'm getting uh, low speeds but um, Verizon's LTE speeds are blazing fast, I know, I've seen them, <laughs> but maybe it's just my area or just my reception or signal here. But it did go up again, 7.91 down, and um, there you guys go, those are the speeds. So, stay tuned for more iPhone 5 videos, I'll see you guys in the next video.